the big international names like in tennis academy you, you see brand names of of, of players oh, yeah. of former yeah. world champions yeah. of uh, same with the squash same with all individual sports in team sports you'll see clubs names not uh, you'll see barcelona you see real madrid you see manchester united it's 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 teams because in in, in team sports uh, people relate to to teams they uh, they relate to, to the to the brand of the team uh, because it, 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 it's different, but uh, sure, it's it's a very big asset when you have the, when you have the champion as the leader of the academy and as the they, they see him playing, they see him uh, training, they, they they're proud to belong to the to this academy that's related to this uh, champion, but it's it's uh, it's a risky thing as well because if if you're not there, it's very damaging. Uh, and it's it's uh, I've seen lots of example and uh, I'm making sure that this doesn't happen uh, to me or in in my academy because if you just put a name and people uh, don't see this name or they don't uh, meet him they don't uh, the kids they don't see him training or playing they just it's uh, it's it's a complete mess they just uh, they start complaining and we came for the specific name and uh, where is he yeah. uh, so I make sure to be to be available. I actually just finished playing at 9 p.m. Two hours ago, I was on court with uh, with my players. I play with the, with my uh, my older juniors, uh, 14, 15, and 16 years old. I train with the team. I, I go on court for uh, two, three hours uh, uh, and train with the, with the boys and girls uh, uh, of my team. Uh, even not even to see me, but to experience playing with me and get the the experience on court, not only from supervising from outside. Well. What I see nowadays, uh, Engineer Omar Burlusi, as you are one of these uh, squash legends, uh, I see these days, uh, not these days, I mean past years, we had a really a great victories in squash. Yes. I mean, Egypt has won mostly yes. all the all. championships mm -hmm. and all categories and so on and so forth. Where did this come from? Uh, from us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's big. Uh, it's It's... It takes uh, another program to, to talk about this, but I try to be as brief as possible. There are so many reasons. Uh, first, like we were the first, yani, there was good generations in Egyptian squash since uh, 30s and 40s. Uh, of course, and, and Brahim Amin and yes, others. Yes, yeah. yes. And then it stopped a little in the, in the 60s and 70s, then then came back with, the, with our generation in, in the 90s. It's easier after this. When you get a good generation, it's easier to get another generation after. But uh, we have also a good thing that most of the Egyptian champions, uh, like myself, like Amir Wagi, like um, all, all, the, all the good Egyptian players, they came back to the game. When they retired, they coached. They do their own schools and academies. They, they, they put their experience back. Um, in other countries, especially like in England, they had so many world champions in, in the 70s and 80s, and then the sport starting uh, to die because most of the players, after they finished, they all went somewhere else. They didn't, they didn't stay in squash, so they didn't have enough experience to teach the young kids up there. So this is one part that, that most of the good Egyptian champions, they are still in the game, they are still coaching, they are still play still on court so the, the players are, are seeing lots of world champions lots of, uh, of, of idols in front of them yeah. uh, the other thing is the, the nature of the Egyptian sports because the, not uh, squash in Egypt is the, it's the best sport by far yeah. uh, results wise and so, so all now all the uh, good young kids they go uh, if they think uh, uh, with their parents well, what are you going to play what do you want to play they go to squash. Lots of them they go to squash. Mm. Uh, so we get like the best, the best pick of the kids. They, we have lots of uh, kids to, to choose from. Uh, I have my, my academy. I have almost almost uh, a thousand kids between the age of four and, and twelve. Wow! It's a huge number relative yeah. to squash. Yeah. It's not yeah. like football, no, but relative to squash, you need uh, seven, eight players out of a thousand. So it's 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 a very big chance to get good uh, champions. In other countries, they have so many choices to do, mm -hmm. uh, so many sports to play. But in Egypt, since squash is very good and uh, doing a great achievement, so most of the of the young kids now go to squash. Well, today was just uh, uh, ending up the uh, World Series for the squash, and Amr Shabana has won the big title in that. Talk to us about that and um, 
maybe we can see um, among this some of the shots of Amr Shabana so you can explain us because you're in the field, you're coaching, <laughs> you have this and you know what is his feelings during that. Yes, uh, this is like the latest Egyptian uh, achievement, uh, Amr Shabana winning the, the, the World uh, Series. Uh, the World Series is like, uh, it's like an exhibition tournament for the, uh, for the top uh, eight players. This is uh, James Wells Trophy, the world number one uh, this month, and playing Shabana. In That's the semi-final, huh? Yes, this is the semi-final match. Uh, Amr, uh, I, mean, I don't need to, to talk about Amr, Amr is a, is a, is a, is a legend, he's uh, uh, one of the best three or four uh, squash players ever, uh, not in this age uh, ever since the game uh, started. Uh, he's the most talented, uh, he's very quick, he has everything, he has a perfect game. Uh, maybe he's not, in the last couple of years he had so many uh, injuries. So that's why he, uh, his ranking went down uh, from number one to, to number five now. But uh, when he's uh, when he's injury free, he's uh, he's better than everyone else. Yeah, and uh, this is the other semi-final yeah. with uh, Karim Darwish. Also, uh, Karim plays in, in my team, uh, and Gregory Gauthier is the world number two. Now we uh, talk about girls as well. Now this is Nicole David, the world number one. Uh, she's a legend. She's, uh, she's been number one for the last uh, five years and uh, she stays unbeatable for like one, two years and then wow. she loses a match and then another one or two years without loss. So she she's Nadal of the squad. Yes, huh? she, lost, uh, <laughs> she lost like seven or eight matches in the last uh, five, six years. Wow. She's, uh, she's wow. the legend of the, of the female squash now. This is very hard, isn't it? From uh, Malaysia. Yeah. yeah, it's very hard to be quite, and it's, good, yeah, it's, it's tough to be champion but the consistency is very high absolutely yeah being uh, on top for long it's not that easy yeah. and these are these are the new like show courts as they call them that they, they allow more people to watch squash it's, uh, it's, uh, this very is wonderful now. because yes. there is a lot of people now watching squash yes, huh? from all directions it's, it's a full circle watching watching the game from everywhere so because this was one of the main problems with squash limiting its popularity oh, there yes. are very little yeah. people who can watch and it's not very clear on tv yeah. now with the new show courts and uh, with the new colors and stuff it's 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 more visible and it uh, attracts and more, more audience attractive, yeah yeah yes. and more attractive to the sponsors as well yes more it attracts <laughs> more audience <laughs> uh, looks better on tv yeah. so uh, this is where uh, where the sponsors are uh, after yeah. Well, tell me when you were in, in, in the World Championship, as we're going to see now, is the final of... Uh, yeah, this is uh, Shabana and Shabana. Gautier in the f yeah. finals of the uh, World Series. I'll ask you later, then you can just commentate on that, because uh, this is uh, a very... Yeah, Gautier, Gautier is the number one now, and uh, number two, I mean, in, in, in the rankings. Uh, still, as I said, when, when Shabana is fit and he doesn't have any injuries, he's... Uh, completely different uh, level, uh, much more uh, skillful, uh, he's very relaxed when he's playing, it's, 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 uh, this is his natural uh, place to be on court. Yeah, oops. That's one of the dives he's playing. You see that? Yeah. Gosh. He dives and he yeah, stands yeah, up like... like he's so frustrated, doesn't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I'm in his place, I could have been the <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah. This is the final point, I think. The match is as much ball to. It looks like it. Ball to Shabana. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Final. You're right. Well, what do you think his feelings then with this a very valuable point? No, it's, it's, it's a very good achievement, especially that uh, Amr recently had so many injuries and uh, his results were not as good as yeah, you were mentioning that. Yeah. So and these are the girls. Yeah, yeah. this is the final, final the girls. This is uh, Nicole David uh, in white and with uh, Madeleine Perry from Ireland. She's the world number four. Colored. Uh, yes. <laughs> Down. Wow. Now she's the, Nicole David is, is dominating all the, the girls' squash now. It's uh, actually starting to say that it's not good for the game because it's starting to get uh, boring. 
because uh, her results are she's way better than everyone else. Wow. And uh, so she doesn't feel any competition then. Yes, so far. But we're hoping that uh, we have uh, Ranim Al Walili now in Egypt. She's the world number uh, six. She start, She's in the top ten now, uh, and she's uh, she's much younger. Uh, and hoping that, uh, in my opinion, she has a very good chance uh, of uh, competing with uh, with Nicole and uh, doing yeah, better results um, uh, yeah. soon, inshallah. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful to see uh, uh, such young uh, uh, athletes just leading the world of girls like this. And you said uh, from a little while ago that she is unbeatable in tennis and on uh, squash, and she has special type of category. And this is Shabana, yeah, this is the winner, and this is Nicole, winner. Well. Let me ask you, when I was just trying to ask you about what happened in the field and I left the people to enjoy your commentating of, uh, of this squash, how do you feel having one point away to win and you're very tight? How is your nervous system going? How do you think? Is it very individual from the player to the other and so on and so forth? Best feeling ever. Uh, you, you, yeah, and you should know because you've, you've tried it. Yeah. It's, uh, when you see the finish line, <laughs> when you see it, it's, it's lots of uh, you get more adrenaline, you get more excited, you you fight more. You it's, it's all sorts of things. It's an experience that you cannot uh, you cannot uh, just tell. You feel it. You, yeah, and it's it's very hard to describe the feeling. But uh, this is the feeling that you miss when you retire. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is the thing that you miss, not not the 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 uh, not the uh, the trophies, not the uh, the people. Uh, it's just this is the the feeling of the winning, of approaching the win, of of until now. Like like my son likes to to watch my. I have my videos and stuff. Oh I yeah. my, my son uh, enjoys this watching with me. Sure. Until now, when I watch like the finals of the world in '99, uh, uh, the final of the world teams when I uh, when I won the match. Until now, I get adrenaline rush when the match is started. Until now, I get excited and I want to. It's like uh, 12 years ago. Yeah. But until now, I get the I get the feeling and I want to go on court and I want to play and it's it's a great feeling. Well, let me ask you this, and we will have the answer <laughs> after we see this together. But uh, let me ask you that the, there is a say. I don't know. Research has been done in the United States. Then, if you uh, 40 and over. It's very dangerous to play squash. I don't need your answer now. Okay. Please think about it. We will have your answer just right after we have the Sports World News with Nermin Abdurrahman and our director, Namdouh Fathi. Well, back to you again uh, before we close and before we hear the answer of uh, our uh, champion, Omar al Burlusi on the past question before the Sports World News. Well, Al-Ahli lost against Bayern Munich 2-1. Well, the goal of Al-Ahli was scored by Barakat and the Bayern Munich latest. Uh, they uh, uh, finished the match in the last first and the last second. Well, I would like to Ahli. And I'm sure that it's going to be a good picking up for the next game. Well, uh, Omar, your answer. We were talking about uh, playing squash uh, over 40. Uh, over 40. It's it's uh, it's it's a debate, but uh, I can say that the, the dangerous thing is to start playing squash when you're old, yeah. when, when you're not even a squash player, and you start. If you want to pick a sport like to lose weight or something, sometimes people uh, say you can play squash because you burn a huge amount of, uh, of calories. You know, squash and, and triathlon, your sport, yeah. is, is the most sport that, that burn calories in, in a sh short time. Yeah. But sometimes people tell you if you want to lose weight, you go and play squash. This is very dangerous. But for squash players who are actively playing, uh, playing three, four times a week regularly, the, their body is used to it, their heart is used to it, their lungs are used to it. But it's 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 not a problem when 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 you get older. You, you're playing and you used to play every day. And we have in, in all our clubs uh, much older players. They can play up to 60 or or 70. But as long as you don't stop, 
uh, all the problems come with like sudden starts, sudden uh, so the, blo the blood pressure goes very high and it gets very risky. Shocking, this is yes, it gets very risky. Yeah. So it has to be gradual and uh, and you don't start to play squash when you're like 45 or 50. You can you can feel better to to do uh, walking and running, some gym, do swimming. It's uh, uh, a bit lower intensity sport. Well, with the sports advice of our champion engineer, Omar Burlosi.